Yo guys, quick announcement just before we get into the video. I'm live streaming tomorrow at 6 p.m. BST time. I will be playing with the new agent KO. So if you'd like to see the new agent and how he plays, how he functions within a game, come and check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash float ascending. That's 6 p.m. BST time. I will be there. I hope to see you guys there too. The new Valorant trailer has been released for the new agent KO. So I'm going to go and watch that right now. Let's do a quick react to it. I have already seen it, so I do know what happens. It's kind of confusing, but we're going to react to it and just kind of try and figure out who the new agent is and what their abilities are and how they're going to end up fitting into the whole roster and the meta of Valorant. So let's check it out. All right, so it starts off with the agent's head. So it's just his head. He's obviously a robot. Get a move on, agent. The world doesn't have all day. So in this part, they're playing inside of Breeze A Halls. He runs in and dies, and then he respawns. So I'm not too sure what's going on there. So he goes in, and then all of a sudden he respawns. Okay, so he ran in. He got killed by the Yoru and respawned. Then he runs in, gets killed by Cypher, and respawned again. So I don't know if it's a respawn or a rewind ability that he has. We can check out the abilities afterwards because I do actually have access to the abilities. But for now, let's just watch, watch the trailer. So he keeps dying over and over again. Keeps coming back. I'm not, I, I'm not sure if it's rewind or if it's respawn. So I think that's his EMP ability and that's what's going to be disabling traps. Yeah, yeah, okay, so he has an ability where it's an EMP and it can disable enemies traps. So that's why you saw Cypher's traps there just disappear. And then he has a molly, I believe. So he's got a molly and EMP. So he gets two kills. He's pushing holes. This dude's aim is insane, by the way. Like, I don't even care about the abilities that much in, <laughs> in this video. Watch the aim. Focus on this aim. Are you guys ready? Watch. So he does something cool. I think this is his ultimate. So he pops his ult, whatever it is. One tap, one tap. Watch. So if it goes for a jump, one tap, dead. Watch this. One tap. My guy just got four one taps. What? <laughs> All right, so he dies. He's got a counter on the side. So I believe he's got some sort of a respawn ability. It shows him back in the Valorant war, whatever the law is behind Valorant. I'm not too much invested in the law. Shows he's in Paris. Planet in ruin, whatever. So he's got some sort of a connection to Reyna. Either Reyna destroyed his city or whatever. I'm not too sure. A little danger. Oh, this bit's clean. So he's got flash. Jumps out, 2k. Flash 2k. Woo! That transition from the orb shot into the classic. Going from Haven to that, oh my god, to Ascent. And then a little right click. Crisp. Flash into a 3k spray down with the Odin. So he uses, so that's his ultimate there. When he does that, that's his ultimate. Then he pops a flash. I believe that's his flash. Guess what? Time to kill some... Radiance. Hell yeah, my guy goes down. So again, he's in his ult here. So he did, he did his ult animation. That's why it's doing that countdown. Honestly, a pretty sick trailer. Like, it doesn't show a lot, but it's hype. And here we've got a little rewind again. It's this whole rewind rest theme. I'm not too sure what it is. We can check out the abilities now. But first looks of the trailer, looks good. It's kind of confusing, super hype. And the dude's aim, oh, the aim is crisp. Okay, so I'm fortunate enough to be sent the fact sheet on KO. That's the name of the new agent. So we can actually check out his abilities as well as just watching the trailer. So we can explain more about his actual abilities here. So we've got zero point. That's one of his abilities right here. So it's official tooltip, equip a suppression blade, fire to throw. The blade sticks to the first surface it hits, winds up, and suppresses anyone in the radius of the explosion. So it, it, it's like a Semtex grenade. It, it sticks to the surface that it hits, but it will pull them in kind of like Astra's pull. Okay? So he's got a pull. 
That's what we saw when he was playing inside of a wholesome breeze, how he pulled the Sage towards him or towards the nade. So then we've got flash slash drive. Um, equip a flash grenade, fire to throw. The flash grenade explodes after a short fuse, blinding anyone in line of sight. Okay, basically like any other flash in the game, kind of like the Phoenix flash. Notable mechanics, right clicking the flashbang throws a charged flash, causing it to only have to cook for one second, as opposed to left clicking throwing a flash that cooks for 1.6 seconds. Okay, so the right click makes the flash pop sooner, so you've got 0.6 second difference depending on the right click or the left click. Then we've got fragment. Uh, that's equip an explosive fragment, fire to throw, the fragment sticks to the floor and explodes multiple times, dealing near lethal damage at the center with each explosion. Okay. So he's got a grenade that's essentially like a molly. And then we've got Null. So we've got instantly overload with polarized radionite energy that empowers KO and causes large energy pulses to emit from his location. Enemies hit with these pulses are suppressed for a short duration. So it's he's got like an EMP and I believe that means it's almost like Killjoy's ult where the enemy can't shoot or they can't move as quick. I don't know what they mean by suppressed for a short duration, but it'll be... It will either affect their movement or their abilities. Maybe they can't use abilities for a short duration. I think that's what it is. So it's like a form of EMP. So notable mechanics, while overloaded, KO gains combat stim. That's insane. What? So he's got a combat stim on when he's... Okay, sick. And then if KO is killed while overloaded, he's downed and enters a destabilized state, allowing allies to stabilize his core and revive him. So that's his ultimate. That's when he was doing that in the trailer. If he goes down after he dies, he can be rezzed by allies as long as you go up to him and res him. So he's almost down. He doesn't fully die. He goes down and then anybody on the team can res him. So you've got an extra res on your team. So now there will be... Is that three res abilities? So we've now got Phoenix who can use his ultimate. Obviously, if he dies, he goes back to where he started his ult. We've got the Sage res and now we're going to have KO with his null ability so when he goes down he could be picked up by allies pretty cool all right and in the next part of the video is what i filmed when i was on stream so it just goes over the sprays and the new battle pass that we're going to get in the new act episode 3 act 1 so if you guys want to see what's in store for the new battle pass there's a cool new katana skin and a sick sick vandal so watch the rest of the video if you'd like to see that as well all right so this is what's going to go down in episode 3 act 1 Okay, so we open this. We've got Battle Pass Press Kit. 2D renders. Wait, there was more stuff for me to look at I didn't look at before. Alright, Battle Pass Press Kit. Are we ready? What's up, Noisy? Noisy, I'm allowed to show this, right? I think so. Alright, buddies. To be honest, I'm not really going to go through all the buddies. So we've got... Actually, I can, I can speed run it. A little crate. A little Hawaiian punch drink. I can show it. Cool, cool. This looks pretty sick, to be fair. I really like the uh, like crystal-looking design. And then we've got a W key for all those dubs you're about to get in the next act. We've got a little cool-ass ducky. Duck this. Uh, a little sushi roll, or not sushi roll, whatever it's called. Salmon on some rice and a little key. All right, that's it for the buddies, kind of. I'm not going to go through the cards. Don't really care too much. Sprays. Are we ready? Blank. Epic. A little octopus chilling on an anchor. Very cool. Rays. Run it. This is <laughs> this is so cute. This one's really cute. Look at the rays right now. He kind of chilling. He do be chilling though. He do be chilling. Cracked egg for when you're cracked out of your bind. Another cracked egg. Killjoy jumping again. Super cute. We've got the little alarm bot. Very cute. I love it. <laughs> I can't get over his face. I've seen this one before. He's getting kicked in the bum bum. Look at his face. This dude. Look at his dude. So cute. Alright, we've got a stack of cash. Very fat. Very nice. No guns allowed. The next one is no pens allowed for some reason. You're not allowed to write anything down when you play Valorant. Stop cheating, guys. Stop writing stuff down. Stop writing down your tactics. It's not cool. A little crab on a sandpit. Love it. Yo. That's the penguin. That's Dan. That's Dan the penguin. 
I just realized. Very cute. Tee hee! Hi, my name is Average Jonas, and I'm a silver main. That's what that is. We've got Dan again, shocked. Uh, no way flow sending, you just try to mimic Average Jonas. I cannot believe this. <laughs> I swear this is just like a troll walkthrough. This is me. This is just straight up me right now. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, my back hurt from more to carry. Nani? Legit me. Me? My teammates. I am in pain. I am match MVP but I lose. Uh. I'm gonna be equipping that one for sure. And this one is just Elementric sweating about how many times he's flashing everyone in the 10 months that we play. Ugh. I don't know why I sound like every other agent. I swear uh, every agent has had this voice by now, but I am pretty sweaty. I need to stop flashing my friends. They are getting annoyed. Alright, what else do we have? Rank down and then we've got the rank up spray. Cute. Weapons. This is the interesting part. Alright, are we ready? So we've got all of the Ares guns, first of all. The sky has been done over. It's not that cool. It's really not that cool. The colors are very boring, very plain. Killjoy colors, uh, they, they should be brighter. As I've said before, like, look at her jacket and her whole outfit. It's, like, quite vibrant. And then look at the gun. It should be a lot more vibrant. I'm not that impressed. Astra's is pretty cool, a lot more vibrant, and then we've got Yoru, right? Yoru's is cool. I love the orange with the blue, very nice. Then we go to Bucky, this looks like the Kingdom Bucky. Not that impressed, kind of boring. The K-Tac Bulldog. So this is part of the K-Tac collection, this is what the melee is based on. So if you have a look, we've got like some beautiful crystals down here, and a beautiful little crystal line running across the gun. This might be one of the nicest bulldogs. This is really cool. Then we've got the frenzy. Again, it looks like that kind of kingdom color. So it's just gold and white. It looks okay, but very boring, to be honest. Yoru's ghost is clean. It's clean. The only thing that I have, like the only problem I have with the ghost is that you don't get to see the handle. So when you play, you're looking at this bit. So we've got to focus on what's past the trigger. So it's this bit that you will be looking at. And then we've got Sky again. Skies is boring. Like, Skies is so boring. And again, you're not really going to be able to see this bit. So you've got to focus on this bit, and it's just it's going to look very, very boring in-game. The ghost does not look that cool. Agreed. Agreed. Um, if this was brighter, like if these colors were bright, if this was more like a yellow or like a really bright gold rather than it being dull, it would look pretty cool. It would look very cool. Uh, because of the jugs, um, the jigsaw puzzle pieces, it looks very nice. But uh, it's just not bright enough for me. I want it to be brighter. Astra's looks decent. I like, see, this is the brightness we need. This is like vibrant. This is prime stuff. Look at that. Lovely. And then we go into the Guardian. Yoru's is decent. I really like the Yoru collection. It's pretty cool. Uh, Skies is super boring. Killjoys is kind of boring. And then we've got Astra's, which is decent. Again, though, I wish this bit was brighter. And this bit. Like, because this bit's super bright, it looks cool. But then this, it's just kind of dull. It's kind of dull. Again, dull. Not really into it. But this is all in the Battle Pass, so you will be able to get all of these in the Battle Pass, which is nice. At least that's a positive. You don't have to... Um, go in and, and buy these as a bundle. They will be in the battle pass. So pretty nice. Pretty decent. Skies. Decent. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, the Kingdom Marshal, essentially. It looks okay. Nothing special. Alright. Are we ready? This is, the, this is the nice part. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Boom! Look at that. This is the gem that I was talking about earlier on the Bulldog. It's like a crystal or whatever, but the colors on it are... 
So well done. Really well done. I just hope in game it doesn't look like the Sovereign Sword where it looks kind of plasticky in game. That's my only worry. I hope that this bit, this um, like grey metallic looking bit, I hope it doesn't shine and make it look plastic. I hope it looks like metal. It's a katana? Yeah, it's a katana. You spot katana wrong. <laughs> um, it's a katana. I don't know how long it's going to be. But at least with this sword, it's thin. So unlike the Tethered Realm sword, it's not going to take up a massive chunk on your screen, I don't imagine. So at least this one, you'll be able to see past the sword, as well as having this cool-ass-looking gem piece. And this will be in the Battle Pass, so this is going to be obviously the last one that you get. It's going to be level 50. It looks sick. I love it. Love the KTAC collection. Here we go, the operator as well. It's got the little gem bit on the magazine. We've got a little gem bit right here near the trigger. And it runs through the barrel of the gun. So super nice, super clean. I actually wanted them to make like a matte black skin with just like a little design inside of it. So this to me is, is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. And then we've got the sheriff, which again is clean. I just hope the side of it also has gems. Um, like I hope, because we look down the barrel of the sheriff, right? So I hope this bit around this side is also, also has a cool design. I hope it's not just black, but we're going to have to wait and see. This is clean, and that bit's very clean. I do like the Sheriff. Then we've got the Shorty. Nothing special. And the last K-Tac weapon, the Vandal. It's perfect. It's actually perfect. The way that the magazine has like these geometrical shapes here to make it look like it's, it's not just flat. And then you've got the, the gem that runs all the way down. And it also... It almost slots into the mag. Like, the way they've designed this one is, is super, super cool. Look at the mag. Like, I, I can't get over it. The fact that it kind of slots into it rather than it just attaching onto the side of it. I don't know. It's the little details, but it makes it so fresh. It's very clean. And then again, obviously, you've got the gem or the crystal, whatever you want to call it, running down the barrel of the gun. Super clean. Super clean. So that's that. And then do we have anything else? Bundle image. Give back bundle. Am I allowed to show that? <laughs> Am I allowed to show that? We already know. <laughs> oh, they revealed it? Okay, 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 okay. I'll show it, I'll show it, okay. So the give back bundle, <laughs> I, I actually pooped myself for a second. All right, give back bundle, okay. Oh, sorry, it's just, okay. So we've got Reva Vandal, Reva Sheriff, the Valorant Ghost skin for Killjoy on the Spectre and the Ion Operator. So from June 22nd, July 8th, 50% off of proceeds from weapon skins plus 100% of proceeds from accessories in the give back bundle will go towards the Riot Games Social Impact Fund in partnership with Impact Assets. So there you go. That's actually a really nice thing for them to do. I now get why it's called give back. If you guys uh, don't have these skins yet and you're thinking about buying skins, definitely go buy these ones and some of it will go towards Riot Games Social Impact Fund. It's nice. It's a, it's a really nice thing that they're doing there. Alright, I assume I can show all of this. So, ability icons for the new agent. Why are these just blank? Alright, they're just blank. Ignore that. Agent art. KO! Oh my god, dudes! Oh my god, Pog! This dude looks sick! Look, he's being shot up in the wall. So, this is what we saw in the trailer. This is who we were looking at. He's called KO. He's the new agent. He looks nuts. He looks clean. Super clean. Here, here, here he is again. Very cool looking. He's got the little bullet going through the dog tags. It's cool. He's a very cool looking agent. Very, very cool. I do like it. I've got wallpaper as well. Sheesh! Let's go! I like it. I actually really like it. It do be kind of clean, though. It do be kind of clean. Hell yeah. And that is it. I think we've made it all the way through. 
Oh no, there's one more. A 2D render. Birthday cake. Ooh, another gun buddy. Okay. Birthday cake. Nice, nice. Clean, clean, clean. So that's the player card. And we've got another player card for Jet's birthday cake. So this is... So Jet... Jet last time had a pizza cutter. Or she cut pizza on a scent with her knives. This time she's cutting cake. Oh, it's for the one year anniversary. Very cute. I get it. One year anniversary. Adorable. Alright, so that's it. That's everything I've got for you guys. That was a lot. That was a lot. We went through a lot. So I hope you enjoyed that.